right, Nana. Um, I am fixing to interview my mom so we can get a glimpse into what her Christmases have been like. Um, Nana, what was your most favorite favorite Christmas memory? I have many, many, but one thing that was always really special was Carson and I both worked, so we would take a day off during the week, not on a weekend, and we would start out early and do all of our Christmas shopping in one day, and we would go out to eat, and it was just our very, very fun, special day, and um, then we would come home and be able to put presents under the tree, and it was just wonderful. Fun. So you get all your shopping done in one day? In one day. Wow. But we didn't have malls everywhere. We just had a you know, the downtown Montgomery, and uh, we could go and do all our shopping. And What were the stores y'all had back then like? Um, we had Cress's, and um, J.C. Penney, and Von Marche. Um, well, we just had lots of stores, but nothing like Right. Oh, I remember the Loveman store that had the big window. It was on the second story. It was a huge window. Yes. And Santa Claus would sit up there. Yes. It was not Christmas until Loveman's decorated. And then Santa Claus would sit up in that big window, and it was so beautiful. And all the children had to go there to see Santa Claus. Yeah, I remember seeing him there, actually. Mm -hmm. And the... The um, when you got finished talking to him, they would give you this ginormous candy cane. Now they give you this little teeny weeny flimsy yeah, candy cane. Yeah. And back then they gave you that giant stick that was about a foot long and it's about as big about around an as an inch around. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And so, it was good. <laughs> it was good. Um, okay. Well, what is your favorite Christmas treat? I always enjoyed the cakes. Uh, my mother was a wonderful cook, and she made her cakes from scratch with real butter, real everything. And we would have uh, Japanese fruit cake, lemon cheese, plain cake, and she would always do a fruit cake. I know people make fun of fruit cakes, but hers was so good. I've never had a fruit cake. <laughs> and um, she, well, she just made all kinds of cakes, but it was such a big treat. She would get them all made, and they would be stored, and we were not allowed to cut one under any circumstances until Christmas Eve night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, it was... and from that point on, we could eat all we wanted. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, let me tell y'all. The ladies in this family, my mom, my grandmother, my aunt, they are probably some of the best cooks in the world. I mean, they know how to do it. For Southern cooking. Yeah, for Southern cooking. I mean, they, uh, if my grandmother put her pinky on it, it was fabulous. We always said she should open her own restaurant. Um, all right. Well, what is your favorite homemade candy for Christmas? Oh, my goodness. Crock-Pot candy uh, with many, many nuts in it. Uh, like that's that. wonderful. Plus, my sister-in-law, Betty, she can make the best divinity. And I never could make divinity, but every Christmas it was my treat that she would bring me uh, Christmas canister full of divinity candy. Yeah, she brings me that too. I love it. Oh my gosh. I know, I tried to make it one time in my life and it flopped. Um, if you don't make it just right, it won't harden up as a candy. And hers is always perfect. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, mine would run all over the pan. and it, It's all uh, to do. You have to know exactly how long to beat it. Have the exact 
uh, humidity. If it's too damp, it won't work. Yeah, she but, says if it's raining, you can't make it. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> but she was an expert, and her divinity was to die for. Uh, it I was. Don't know what divinity is. It's this white candy with pecans in it, and oh my gosh, it mm -hmm. is heaven. It just melts in your mouth. Um. All right. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Um. I like uh, the Griswold's Christmas. Chevy Chase's. Yeah, uh -huh. that's crazy. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite. What's the little boy that... Oh, A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story. I always like that. Lots of laughs. Because it, I can... I didn't... Well, he lived in a big city. I lived in the country. But uh, I could... Uh, relate to the relate time. Relate to that... Mm -hmm. period of time yeah you'll shoot your eye out <laughs> I love that uh, Red yeah. Rider BB we, gun we all can still say that about the little BB gun you know uh -huh. some kid wants a BB gun but you'll shoot your eye out right. <laughs> that was a really cute one really really yeah, cute yeah we watched it the other day did you like it? yeah I'm always looking at it uh huh um, when you were younger, um, how did y'all do Christmas trees? Did y'all have a Christmas tree lot you would go to? Did you go out in the woods and cut them? I mean, how, how did you go about getting your tree? We went to the woods and cut them. And um, you would sort of keep your eye out for one that was growing. And sometimes you could go and get that and... A uh, long, long, long time ago, if you saw a pretty cedar tree growing beside the road, it was okay to cut it in our neighborhood. You know, nobody cared. As long as it's not on their property. I'm just saying alongside the road. But we would get a fresh tree. And uh, I've had to use pine trees. We wanted cedar, but we couldn't always find cedar. So we'd find a pretty little pine tree. And uh, we decorated it with uh, the big colored lights. That was before the days of all the little tiny white lights. <coughs> and we had garland, and we had icicles galore. Tell them what an icicle is. They don't know what that is. Oh, well, they still have them in the stores, but it's tinsel. They call it tinsel now. But it looks like... Um, Shiny foil. Um, yeah, I remember my mom used to still do that. Tin foil. Uh -huh. This cut in little tiny thin strips, only it's soft, and you can just throw it over your tree limbs, and it just looks like it's ice or snow. It gives you that effect, and then the lights on the tree reflect on that, and it was always so beautiful. Okay, Nana, tell us about. Um, what the difference was when you lived in France and had Christmas versus Christmas in America? Well, we did it the same way because we had our American traditions and um, we had our trees and uh, but I remember when we lived in uh, Paris we had the most beautiful tree. It was like it had just been cut and brought in, and it was truly a blue spruce that was out of this world. It made the whole house smell so good. And uh, we decorated just like we do here. Was it, um, see now everybody can FaceTime one another. Um, you know, they can call. Just on a you know instant, you can you can contact and and see your relatives and your family. Okay, I have a good story about that. We lived in France. And you and Danny were little, and uh, my mother and daddy they sent our Christmas gifts, but she didn't think about 
they were just trying to package them in a way that they could get to us safely. Well, when I opened the box, nothing was wrapped. So I wrapped everything for Carson and you and Danny. But nothing I had was wrapped. So mm -hmm. I didn't have a surprise for Christmas morning. <laughs> it just broke my heart. <laughs> And it took a long time for packages to get oh, overseas, yeah. didn't it? It would take weeks. Uh-huh. You know, they came by ship. Yeah, and if you wanted, you could make a phone call. Well, it was so expensive. Um, when you were born, I called, and all I could do was cry, so that didn't pay <laughs> off. So She cried because she had me, you know. <laughs> No, because it was so emotional trying to tell them, you know. Yeah, well, and Mama wasn't there. That would be hard, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> yeah. Mom and Daddy not being there. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Nana, for doing this interview for me tonight. Um, as you can see, I'm not getting on camera. I have worked today, and <laughs> I was thinking I wouldn't make the Christmas vlog uh, today, but thanks to mom, um, we're good. So we will see you tomorrow and I will participate in it a little bit more. Merry Christmas. <laughs>